That thing? That's a deloid rotifer, a small animal found in freshwater habitats all over the world. It belongs as one of the tiniest metazoans sharing the group with humans like you and me. That's because it has a body plan consisting of systems of organs. Organs like a stomach or kidneys, even a urinary bladder. They even have what you might call eyes. The first thing you'll notice about this creature is the uncanny vortices formed at its corona. The unusually long cilia beat rhythmically, drawing food like single cell algae into its body cavity through the whirlpools to be ground by the mass stacks, an organ that pulsing jaw-like structure there which even has a kind of chitinized teeth to grind up for its stomach to digest. Accentuated here is something called the lorica, a protective hard or semi-hard shell forming the outside of this rotifer. Loricae can vary widely between different species of rotifers, sometimes forming complex, ornate forms, while others appear sharp and spiny. Deloid rotifers move by their coronal cilia, but they also use single foot-to-head motions, almost like an inchworm. To feed, these rotifers affix themselves first with their distinct foot glands to prevent them from being whisked away by their own vortex currents. <laughs> to be honest, these creatures really remind me of vacuum cleaners, and sometimes poor ciliates wander by and end up getting sucked in and boxed. When the corona is retracted, a projection called the rostrum, holding the eye spots and sensory antenna protrudes, giving it, to me, what looks like an anteater-like appearance. One of the two truly unique aspects of deloid rotifers, which sets them apart from other rotifers, is their ability to undergo a process called anhydrobiosis, which is brought on by desiccation or drying out. The ability allows deloid rotifers to survive harsh, dry environments, as well as allowing for DNA that is highly resistant to ionizing radiation like UV light from the sun, protecting DNA for long periods of time until more favorable conditions arrive. The other unique aspect of deloid rotifers is something called parthenogenesis, natural asexual reproduction where the growth and development of an embryo doesn't require the fertilization by a male. Indeed, there are no males in deloid rotifers. They're all female. This terror is an amoeba. It moves by the use of projections of its own cell membrane, called pseudopods. The pseudopods move towards chemoattractants or sources of food where it surrounds and consumes other organisms in a process called phagocytosis, where the victims are later digested and stored in small storage bubbles called food vacuoles. Look closely, a ciliate has wandered too close, and it is about to find out why these killers are the fear of the micro world. The pseudopods stream towards the victim, creeping to devour it. Unfortunately, the two have made contact, and the ciliate must fight and beat its cilia desperately to get away. just got away, milliseconds from certain death. The amoeba for now will go hungry, but I'm sure it will look for new prey, and other living things will not be so lucky. If you liked learning about these two critters and want to learn more about microscopic life, please like and subscribe to my channel Micrographia for more great videos. 
If you have any questions or something to suggest, please leave a comment. Have a great day and I hope to see you next time.